Excuse me. Hello, Michael. I won't be but a moment. I just need to check my safety deposit box. All right, Miss Jones. It's all right. So I'm doing this job in L.A., right? I'm going to be working with these two new guys, some voodoo crazies from fucking Haiti or something, right? All they tell me is that these two are brothers, twins, in fact, saying to me, whatever you do, don't ask them about being brothers, which is exactly the wrong thing to say to me. Because sure as shit, the best way to get me to do something is to fucking do it. Why is it that the landscape never looks more beautiful than when you're standing on the edge of a cliff. What is it about raising the stakes that makes the reward so much more worthwhile? You ever find yourself in a position and wonder exactly how it is you got there? Life moves fast. You never really get a chance to get a good, clear look. That's the problem with clarity. It usually comes too late. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, oh so, sorry, I just... I didn't hear you coming. I just need your signature. Oh, sure. Was that Italy? Uh, no, no, it was, it was Greece. Oh, well, it was beautiful. <laughs> certainly hope so. I need to get into my safety deposit box. Oh, I'm sorry, but the bank is... Closed. Yeah, I know. Um, but come on, Eddie, in the time it would take you to call and confirm it with Michael, I'd be in and out of your hair. Come on, what do you say, Eddie? So, have you been to all these places? No. Oh. Well, I would just really love to get out of New York. Yeah. If you can believe it, I've never even been out of state. That's pretty pathetic, huh? No. No, no, no not really, no. Hey. Hey. Sweetheart. Are you fucking coming or what? Let's do it. Go. What to Greece? Well, I'm. I'm in. Someday. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking me to go to Greece with you. Uh huh. Oh, oh you're good. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Lawrence. What is it? Uh, closing time, boss. So we're gonna lock up now. Okay. Fine.
I'm gonna look up the nerve to ask her out and ask her fucking grease. What's up, Miss Jones? You got any plans for the weekend? Big plans. Stop! Drop your weapons! Say the world's all out of hero. Everybody get the fuck down! Now! Press the alarm? No. Press it! What? Press the alarm. We're actually not supposed to do that until after it's all over. Do you want to die? It's company policy. You want to know what my company policy is towards smart-ass tellers? Judy? Huh? Good. Get off! Get up! You! I get off! All of you! Get off! Don't move! Don't turn around! You fuck move! getting vouched for. See, the best way to get a criminal to vouch for you is to earn it. If you don't have time for that, the next best thing is to have him see you being chased down the street by coppers. See, criminals are a suspicious bunch by nature, but once you're on the inside, they'll help you out like no other friend. Not because they're loyal, but because there's always an angle. I needed help. I needed to get in on a game. Poker game. No Limit Texas Hold'em. That's what they play in the World Series in Vegas. And I should have known right there. I should have known. Truth is, I did know. You're late. Yo, what happened this afternoon? Big deal, it's parking tickets, I think. Last time I saw you, cops were chasing you down the street. Forget the cops. Listen, are these the guys? Hey, you want in on any action in this neighborhood? You talk oh. to the fat man. Hey, can you get me in the game? Later at the bar, she's your ticket in. You don't take a leak unless she holds it, you know what I mean? Hey, so we good? It's all set. Hey, baby. You remember the king if I win. much to say, they each said nothing. Who's that, Kerouac? Grisham. Ah. <laughs> oh, we don't get much of that around here. It's mostly just a uh, nice dress. It'd look great on my floor. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Huh? Hemingway? 
Can you, uh, can you get me in that? You sure you want to? Those guys are rollers. You're cute, but you didn't have any money, do you? <laughs> hey, I got a couple bucks. Huh? Yeah, I'll take my chances. Besides, uh, I got little left on my side, right? Mm. I'd keep my eye on her if I was you, because she can be a real bitch. Excuse me. Sophisticated to say right about How here. How about bye? Simple, yet refined. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Excuse me, John. Cards? Because. Yeah. Cards. Proud of yourself. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Huh? What's your good news? I want to know what we're going to celebrate. Yeah? Are you working? <laughs> huh? What were you expecting? Would you like some company or how about, hey, big man, want to party? Why me? Hmm? Really, why me? You look nice. Yeah. I don't meet a lot of nice guys in this line of work. Well, I'm not nice. <laughs> And you don't know me. Yes. Let's just say I know men. Look, I promise not to play the whole hooker with a heart of gold angle. If you promise not to ask me why I'm in this profession, tell me I'm beautiful and I don't have to do this. I promise. <laughs> we could just cut the shit and have wildcat sex. Is that your heart, so? That and a great ass. Oh, it's a good one. Something wrong? Yeah. <clears throat> Why were you the only hooker on that corner? What do you mean? Well, what is it about that corner? Well, one corner is as good as the next. Yeah, exactly. See, I've been walking down that street for months, and uh, I've never seen you. And you know. <clears throat> 
You don't look to me like the typical street hooker. <laughs> so let me guess. You're the ringer. Okay, look. Some guy wins big at the club, right? He's feeling good. He's feeling really good, right? He's a big, fat fucking wallet. Now, what makes it a perfect evening? Some grade A, 100% top choice piece of ass. Right? Am I right? And that's where you come in. You get their money back. So the house wins no matter what, right? Hey, come on. It's a good grift. It's a great grift. And I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> So, what's your cut? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really? Come on. Hey, baby. The gig is up, okay? The gig is up. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Let's talk. <clears throat> hey, come on. Don't worry. No, listen to me. I know what those pricks will do to you if you don't come back with some money. So, I'm going to give you some money. I'm gonna give you a lot of money, okay? But you gotta do me a favor. See, um, I know about this little job that's going down, and I want in. So, you're gonna talk to your boss, and you're gonna get me a meeting. Look, I don't know anything about a job. Good. It shouldn't concern you. <laughs> Doesn't concern me, and it sure as shit shouldn't concern you. You just talk to your boss. Okay, and you be persuasive. You be really persuasive. A talent that I know that you have in spades. And you tell him I want in. You don't know who you're dealing with. Really? <laughs> well, neither do they. <laughs> See, you just worry about your end. I'll take care of mine. Okay? Here. Get me in. Tell where to find me. I won't have to. You look like an 18-year-old, just lost his cherry. I was 50, you should know. It was your sister. Very funny, that's very funny. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be performing here all week. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> so, what will you have? What do I have? Oh, well, um, look at, I'm gonna have the biggest milkshake you got. What flavor? You pick. All right. Anything else? I'll stick with the coffee, thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't want a donut, too? You just got made. What, do I have a tattooed on me or something? It's this old trench coat thing, man. You look like fucking Columbo. All right, all right, enough about me. What do you got? You're kind of just driving me crazy here. Well, you tell that prick to relax, man. Everything's going just right. You on the crew? Mm, you know, not in so many words, but uh, I got their attention. You got names? You got these? What do you got? Oh, come on, Curtis. You know these things take time, man. Look, it's not like they got a fucking health wanted sign, you know, posted, and I just go and fill a fucking application, all right? I guarantee you this, though. I made an impression. <laughs> I don't doubt it a bit. <laughs> Looks like money. I'll be a son of that's money. Go on, take it. Buy yourself something frilly. What? Come on, man. I want to gamble off these real low lowlifes. It's clean. It's clean money. Jesus Christ, if you don't want it, you know, give it to Beth. That's fine, thank you. Okay. You ain't never been on a honeymoon and your oldest kid's turning six. Fuck you, man. I didn't mean it like that, Curtis. I didn't mean this it like that. This is some kind of game we're playing. Like no. You walk in here acting like you're on top of the world, throwing money around. You make me chase you down the street like an idiot. For what? For credibility? Do you know how that makes me look? I'm the one who's always looking out for you. I'm always making up excuses. Hey, Seth, you are good at undercover. I'm real fucking good. Yeah, maybe too good. You know what I mean? You just make sure you know what side you're on. 
People have been coming around asking questions about you. Now is not the time to be freelancing. Okay. All right. Seth. What? Don't cut me out of the loop. I'm going to tell the lieutenant something. I'll make something up. All right? In the meantime, you go out and give me something concrete. OK. OK. Curtis, come on. Calm down. I'll let you in, but I got something to let you in on, OK? And I didn't mean anything about Beth, OK? Yeah. No, really. Fuck it. Fuck it. Go. Yeah. Thanks. Here, you take it. Yeah. Buy yourself something frilly. <clears throat> Don't. French fries were cold. Don't. Took the words right out of my mouth. I will ask again. Who are you? It doesn't matter. It may not matter to you, but it matters to us very much. You know what? You've never done this before, have you, baby? Huh? Now look. Now who I am is not important. Now, how I know about you is of paramount fucking importance, okay? Look, 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 I was arrested in Vegas. I got, I got nailed on a FedEx job. I did time with a guy named Slim Tony, OK? Go on. Look, he told me all about your little operation up here, your crew. He said you were looking for some fuck. He told me you were looking for some freelance talent. And here I am looking. Slim Tony. Yeah. In Vegas. What? That dumb bastard. He didn't tell you I was coming? There's no job. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. What, you came over here to put a gun to my head because you got nothing better to do? And the way I see it, you can either pull the trigger or you can get on the phone and talk to Tony. He'll vouch for me. You know, you're either stupid or just plain crazy. You know what? I'll be whatever you want me to be if you don't shoot me. <sighs> Let's go. I get up. So where are we going? We've got some business. Well, what does that have to do with me getting something to eat? Because I'm starving. How long have you known Slim Tony? I don't know. He hooked me up in Vegas. A few years, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Now it's maybe. I mean, I don't know, like down to the minute. How long you been an asshole? Hey, look, we just passed the chicken shack. You mind if I smoke? Actually, yes. Crack the window. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm hmm So, um, I don't think we've been formally introduced. Uh, my name is, uh, Seth. They call me old-fashioned, but I'm not working with people that don't tell me their names. My name is Seth. Sophie Zen. Sophie Zen. It's a pretty name. Is that French? No, it's not. Do I know any Sophies? You, you fucking talk a lot, you know that? This is Cisco. Cisco, like the Cisco kid, huh? Wasn't that a movie? Gary Cooper played him, right? Duncan Ronaldo. Gary Cooper was in High Noon. Oh, sorry. What? I love westerns. Yeah, I don't. Okay, we are here. speak with the man inside. I'm looking for a little information. If he should be at all reluctant, I want you to kill him. Okay. Hey, how about another? Hey! 
Eh, hey, y'a pas de service ici ou quoi Et ils disent Parisiens sont rudes, hein Surprised to see me, Mark. Because you look surprised. What is this, huh? What the fuck are you guys doing here? What are you doing in New York? I'm going to have a family here. But you're going to tell me what you're going to do here, because on my side, there's no problem. What a relief, because, you know, we thought maybe you'd skipped out on us. Moi? Moi, je ferais jamais ça. Ah! Je vois ce que tu penses. Tu penses que je suis allé voir d'autres marchés avec ces numéros, hein? Que je cherche un autre acheteur à meilleur prix, hein? Ça marche pas comme ça. Tu peux aller dire à tes amis que je suis en ville voir mon cousin. You know, basta. I've been here what feels like a... An eternity end. No one's offered me a drink. I mean, I mean, this is a bar, am I right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do I feel like? Scotch. Thanks. Ah! I got a feeling you're not telling this sweet young lady what she needs to know. Oh. Am I right? Huh? Look at me! Focus on me. I'm your problem now. Hurts like a bitch, huh? Huh? Is it hurt? Want to make a stop? Huh? Yes! Okay. Oh, please. No, no. The fuck? Jesus! Filthy habit. The smoking. You and I. I'm gonna quit one day. All right. Look, the number is twenty-one. No, just write it. Neat. I mean, write it neat so she can read it. You know what? I'm gonna quit right now. Cold turkey. What do you think? You're fucking crazy, man! Fuck. What do you think was gonna happen, huh? Bang, bang. Nice place. Come get a drink with me? Sure. I'll see you at the club. Run along, cowboy. Quote him to get women. I just quote him to impress women. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't work. <clears throat> the key is to make a woman laugh. You gotta make a woman laugh as soon as possible. I see. Yeah. See, Sophie, women are complex. Men, they're simpletons. They're predictable. Man. How so? Okay, listen to this. <clears throat> Every year, for the last 10 years, on Valentine's Day, they've been taking this survey about, you know, who men and women, you know, find sexy. Mm -hmm. no. For men, the top 10 literally has been the same every year. <laughs> you 
Really, you can bet your grandmother's <laughs> house. Pamela Anderson, Cindy Crawford, yeah. they gonna be there. Now, the women's list, mm. it changes every year. And the top spot, the coveted numero uno, you know, is not the traditionally beautiful. Lyle Lovett, and the Captain Picard guy. And of course, you got your Brad Pitts, but sexy, I mean, truly sexy to a woman is about the undefined sense of humor, style, <laughs> chivalry. They all play a part. So, uh, so the woman's list changes. Really? Yeah. That's why I think, hang on, between you and me, a woman should be running this country. <laughs> what? Really, because a man, he can't be trusted because everything's about his, you know, his prick, excuse me, his penis. <laughs> and our last president's proof of that. <laughs> think about it. Whenever there's a new drug, okay, a hair formula, some new headache medicine, what's the side effect? Soft dick. <laughs> uh, everything in a man's life is tied into his Johnson. It's an interesting theory. I made you laugh. <laughs> okay. You know, it's bad luck not to drink after a toast. You don't strike me as a superstitious type. Alfies are superstitious. At least the good ones, anyway. So why you do it? Hang on, wait. Let me guess. Is this your last job? This is your last job, right? Then you're gonna hang it up, because this is my third last job this year. You ever find yourself in a position? I wonder exactly how it is you got there. All the time. <laughs> This life, I mean, sometimes I think I didn't choose it, that it chose me. Yeah. I remember this story about this guy, really famous guy, you know, can't go anywhere without attracting a crowd. So he's at a restaurant and starts talking to this guy and he's drunk, so his guard is down and he starts confessing to him, you know, telling him the, about the entrapments of fame, how he's so sick and tired of it. And he finally mentions that he would rather be dead than live another day in the spotlight. Really? So the guy asks him if he's serious about this because he says, you know, I know somebody, a professional, who could take care of this for you. Never have to know where or when, just one day. So the guy wakes up the next morning, incredibly hungover, and he can't remember if he hired the professional killer or not. I mean, imagine the paranoia, you know? Wondering if someone's out there biding their time. That's what this life feels like to me, you know? You can't trust anyone. And you can't live forever. That was very uplifting. <laughs> so, when do I get to meet the big boss? <laughs> Excuse me a second. How do you know you haven't already? Excuse me. Yes. <clears throat> Let me get one more of these. Okay, right away. Get over there! All of you, get over there! Move it! Let's go! Wrong move! Let's go! Let's go.
wrong with you? What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? I think you better get out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. No one was supposed to die, you trigger-happy shithead. Hey, what's the difference? What's the difference? 20 years to life, you dumb motherfucker. You know what? What? Before this is over, me and you are gonna go. Really? Where? To the movies? You promise? Want me to decide who's got the biggest dick? Is that what it is? No, not really. It's me. Happy? You got a date. I'll cut the shit. And be a professional, for fuck's sake. What? I saved both your asses. That guy was drawing his gun. You clean that shit up. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Lucas, tell me what's happening up there. What's going on? Nothing. Everything's secure. Cops on their way, everything's on schedule. Glad to hear it. <laughs> in the goddamn zoo, huh? Yes, sir. Everything locked up tight? Yes, sir. We're set up around the corner. Yeah. And listen, I want those fucking reporters out of here. Yes, sir. I threw my car, too. Get the manager down here right away. He and I need to chat. I'm in the main vault room downstairs. Okay. Let's go. Reggie! Where the hell am I going here? Aspen room, sir. Left. Oh, good, 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 good. What's my status? Block is locked down. They're not going anywhere. All right. Plans, architectural, structural. They're on the way. All right. Well, what the hell, you look so worried. Well, there's a couple of news crews here already. They want to know what's going on. Take care of it, Richie. Everything is taken care of, not to worry. Oh, there is one more thing. Sir? Coffee. Hot, black, and plenty of it. I'm on it. Good man, Richie. Holy shit. Get him the fuck out of here. Come on, guys, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, NYPD. I'm sorry, but we're going to need Just this room. Just stand down and exit. Hello, Michael. Miss Jones, what's going on? What are you doing? Sophie? Just relax. Come on. What's going on? I have a little problem, and I thought you might be able to help me out. See, I need to get into this vault. Sophie, this is my gun. Care to help me with the code for the override? Sophie! Why are you doing this? Isn't it obvious? Now, Michael, I have precious little time to answer your silly questions. I can't. I can't. The vault is on a time lock for the long weekend. There's nothing I can do about that. Well, that may be the case, but there is one instance when the code can be overridden. <laughs> Sophie. See, I have done my homework, and I know you have the code, because the bank doesn't want any cases to say where someone Sophie. threatens someone's Sophie. life in order the to open the door. It's cheaper to be robbed than sued. Strange time we live in. This wasn't part of the plan. I can open the vault. That means I don't need you. I don't know anything about any code. I don't believe you. But the real question here, however, is whether or not you believe me. Do you believe I will kill you, Michael? Oh, please, God, don't do this. Sophie! 
the fuck are you? Shut up. This does not concern you. Don't shoot him. Here's my colleague here believes I'll do it, but do you? Don't shoot him. Oh, my God. Sophie, put the gun down. All right, I'll... I'll... You didn't answer the question. Yes. Yes, I believe you'd kill me, all right? I believe you're fucking crazy. Are you happy? You win. Michael, we win either way. I want you to remember something, okay? Every breath you take from this moment on will be a gift from me. All that you become in your life will be in thanks that I did not kill you. Do you understand? The living hell out of me. I'm losing my shirt on this tech shit. Craig, NYPD. What do you want, Lieutenant? <laughs> what do I want? Wasn't that supposed to be my next question? All right, look, friend. Why don't we start from the beginning here? How many people you got in there? That's not how you play the game. Don't you want a name? Something you can call me. Game? This is no game, friend. Why don't you smarten up? Give it up. This way nobody gets hurt, especially me. The way I see it, you got no options. I don't think I like your attitude there, Lieutenant. Let's get a couple of things straight. I am the only one with options. You were not in charge here. And secondly, it's real important that you keep me happy because I'm feeling a bit touchy. And when I get touchy, I can go off you. You know what I mean? And that makes you responsible for my state of mind and thus for the people's lives in here. Long and short of it, you piss me off and we start throwing bodies and out the front that door. Moves into three little piggies. I will huff and puff. Blow your house down. You got people in there. I mean, give me something. Let me know they're okay. <sighs> Since you and I are gonna be doing a lot of business, you're just gonna have to trust me. I bet you're a real tomcat, aren't you? Huh? 
get that whole bank. Hey, what are you doing? I'll talk to you later. Leave her alone. Yeah, leave her alone. Okay? All right, girls, we got work to do. Remember the clock. Come on, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> In a stunning development today, several armed robbers stormed a downtown branch of the Central City Trust just before closing. They've locked themselves inside and are now holding an unknown number of employees and customers hostage. As you can see behind me, police have completely Gentlemen, surrounded the area. Gentlemen, meet the newest and maybe most effective weapon in the bank robbers arsenal. After what happened in Dallas last week, Tell them. Can't sex a damn watch and CNN. <laughs> Uh, please, people, you should be doing all of us a favor if you just stand back. Excuse me, do you know how many people are inside the building at this time? Well, I just arrived on the scene. Why don't you tell me? Sir, just last week, in reaction to what happened in Dallas, the police commissioner talked to at a press conference about how this city would not be held hostage. Does this mean that intervention here is imminent? Well, it's just like the obvious. This is not Dallas. experience, Steve. We're going to do everything in our power to bring about a quick and peaceful resolution. Intervention is only a last resort. And every case is different. OK, now one last time, and you can't quote me on it. Intervention is purely a last resort. That's of course you're looking for a promotion. Our only concern. Now, we will do our best to try and keep you up to date as things progress. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to say for right now. Thank you very much. Can you tell us anything about the suspects? Anybody who might be responsible yeah, for this? Are there any fatalities at this point? We can't handle, but thanks for your concern. I'll let you know if anything crops up. Funny. I didn't expect to see you here, Jack. Well, life is full of surprises, isn't it, Dan? Listen, I'd love to have a reunion, but as you can see, I got a hell of a lot to take care of here. You know I got jurisdiction here. Oh, yes. Jurisdiction, jurisdiction. Let me see if I can figure this out, Dan. Uh, you want to go in there right now with guns blazing, is that it? That'd be a bit dramatic, don't you think? This one is mine. End of the story. I got my reasons. Besides, I've already made contact, and you and I know what protocol is, don't we? <laughs> don't sort of book at me, Jack. You know what you should do? You should calm down. We're on the same team here, don't we? Oh, yes, Dan. Same team. Sir, here's the situation. An unknown number of perps have taken four bank employees hostage. So far, they have not made any demands. I think they were taken by surprise. What's your name? Officer Richard O'Malley, sir. Officer O'Malley, what's that in your hand? Sir? What is that that you have in your hand? A coffee. Is it yours? No, sir. I was getting it for the lieutenant. Well, Officer O'Malley, if nobody here has enough respect for you, rather than to have you fetch coffee for them, what gives you the idea that I would give a shit what you think about the situation? Tell Tanetti to order the recon. I need to see what's going on in there. Thanks, Richie.
Come on, hurry up. Fill it up. You're gonna make it out of here, okay? Okay, I promise. Look, forgive me if I don't share your confidence, all right? Last time I checked, money was a pretty good reason for getting killed. Well, I happen to be in a pretty good position to keep my promise, okay? Besides, it's number two. Sorry? Money. It's the number two reason people kill each other. Crime's a passion, number one. So, uh, hey, you got that going for you. So why are you doing this, huh? What? Wait. Look at it. <laughs> All right, you build a door that strong, sooner or later somebody's gonna wonder what's behind it. It's just a matter of time before someone like me comes along and knock it down. And it's worth the risk, huh? What, you never thought about it? Huh? You're a bank manager. What do you make? 50, 60 K a year max? Right? Yeah. And every night you close the door on a hundred times that? One of these stacks, just one. Change your whole life, right? Yeah, well, you know, I got a few things in the works, and I don't believe in taking shortcuts. Besides, you know, there's procedures and security. You thought about it. Come on, get down, get down. Yeah, well, you know, I'm human, you know. I got dreams like anybody else. Hey, Barnes. Okay. What would you do with the cash? I mean, what would you do with it, man? What would I do? Yeah. I'd travel. I'd, uh... You know, I'd see the world. I'd, you know, sip wine on the Riviera, dip my toe in the Nile. Really fine looking piece of ass. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> okay. So why don't you do it? And I can't, I can't go anywhere now. My, my mom is uh, sick. I can't leave her right now. Hey, come on. Come on. Take one. No, no. Hey, come on, it's on me. I can't. I can't. It's on me. I won't tell. I promise. All right, you take your trip. <laughs> At this time, we cannot tell whether or not the thieves have actually made any demands. They have no indications as to Looks like something is up. Why'd you say that? Look behind the reporter here. That guy is the tactical officer in command. Now, there used to be a bunch of guys around him. Where are they now? Where are you going? Down. They're going to try to access this area for the building next door, the basement. You, how do you know that? Because it's what I do. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Standard procedure. What we gotta do is run a video feed down through a van or up through a fucking floorboard or whatever. Gotta get eyes in there. Shit, we don't even know for sure how many people they got. You didn't think to ask him, did you? Fuck you.
sir. Shots fired. Come on, let's go. Move. 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 Go. God damn it. Go. Contact with a team. We got picture. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you got some officers down. Can anybody tell me anything? Huh? Archer. Anyone? Archer. You. This is the first time you've been speechless all fucking day. Archer. Christ's sake, man, give it a break. Now listen. I got a man on the inside. What? Don't walk me. I got a man inside. I'm just not sure. You're just not sure what? Whether he's on the inside or whether he's on the job. Oh, so Christ this is what it's all about. Tell me how this could happen. Did I miss a memo? Fuck you and your Our memos. undercover officer's now supposed to be participating in fucking robbery. You sank him on the Well, not on me. This is all on your head. All right, Richie. Sir, had you let me finish before, I would have told you that undercover officer Seth George might be on the inside, working against direct orders. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now we have a rogue cop loose on the inside. you decided to grace us with your presence. I thought I'd check it out. <clears throat> this is Junior. Hey. He's from Vegas, too. Oh, you from Vegas? You know, I did some work there. Our host crew. Seth did some work there with Slim Tony. Oh, no shit. I did some work with Slim. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work for Slim, all of those boys. I ain't never seen you before, though. Never forget a face when were you there. You know Frankie, right? How about Jimmy? You know him? He's got this big mole right here. Hey, <laughs> fuck me. I got Kaboom, I got Lenny. Excuse me? Do you want to fuck me? I mean, what's with all the foreplay here? I've worked with Slim Tony and a lot of other guys, and no one, not one of them, has ever asked me this many fucking questions. Look, let's get something straight. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your confidant. And I sure as shit do not want to be your bitch. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you want to fuck me? No. Why not? I'm kind of cute. No? Good. Go on. You will be paid $50,000, plus whatever you can carry to rob a bank. I got a question. <clears throat> Who robs banks? Who robs fucking banks these days? Die packs, marked bills, video cameras. I mean, the only people robbing banks are dumb fuck stick-up men who get nabbed because, you know, the car doesn't start. They lost their keys. And there is the little problem of it being a federal offense. Don't get me wrong. I mean... But my liquor store days, they're behind me. I'm afraid you got it all backward. You gotta read between the lines. Banks are told to hand it over, plain and simple. Don't get cute. Too many of those bad motherfuckers sticking guns in people's faces in those reality TV shows, gas stations, convenience stores. You can walk into a bank with your fingers stuck in your pocket and the tellers will shit themselves. <laughs> this gentleman is Lucas. Hi, Lucas. How are you? Let's just say he's the consultant on this one. Rest assured, he's forgotten more about robbing banks than we will ever know. He'll also be supplying us with any and all the necessary equipment. If you got any special requests, you need to take it up with him. What did you mean when you said we get to keep whatever we carry out? What do you think that means? Okay, so why are you going in? You're being paid enough not to ask those questions. Okay, well, let's get down to it. Gentlemen, this is the target. It's an old historical site, which means that the building has not been significantly altered since Christ was a cowboy. Where is it? You will find that out when you walk through the doors, not a moment sooner. 
Now, if you'll notice, there's nothing significant about these plants. Here we have the city subway plants. Once again, you'll notice nothing significant here, except that when I combine the two sets of plants, there's a very interesting development. You'll see that there's an old maintenance shaft directly under the building. Now, it's not marked on the bank's plans. The bank is not marked on the subway plans, yet when combined, the simplest solution is the oft most overlooked. Well, let me get this straight. You want me to walk into a bank with a fucking shotgun, hoping that there is some door there? No. You're being paid to walk into a bank and count on some door being there. I am giving you enough money that if I tell you Elvis himself is in the vault, you'll believe me. Can we continue? Continue. Great. So when we go in, there will be two guards, three tellers, one bank manager. How do I know that? How, how do I know that? Well, I suppose you'll just have to trust me on this, OK? Well, this isn't exactly a, a trust kind of business, is it? When we take the hostages. Hostages? Gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Jesus. I mean, Hostages is a part of the plan? No, 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 no. Where I come from, hostage is a plan B. You know, uh, improvise when the shit hits the fan. What the fuck are you guys into? I mean, whatever, whatever happened to the old in out? Shit, man. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't sign on to do any killing. I'm talking about leverage. What are you talking about? I'm. I'm. Uh, no, this is too much. This is too much. I mean, what the fuck? Shit, man. What took you so long? Little fucking prick was getting on my nerves. All goes well. There'll be no killing. Well, no more killing anyway. I liked him. about you, you know, what kind of person you are, general bullshit stuff. The woman would come in for an interview tomorrow. They want to know if you're on the take. I told them no. I told them to go to hell. I want to see a fucking lawyer. I'm just scared of what I'm telling them by saying nothing. You know what I mean? Curtis, Curtis, you haven't done anything wrong. I don't know if they'll see it that way. You know money's been tight lately. Beth's been threatening to get a job. I can't even take care of my own family. I get suspended here. I'm fucked. You know? Stop it. Come on. You listen to me. Okay, this is for you, not for me. You look out for yourself. You look out for number one. Okay? Because that's what I do. Move over.
Seth. No. Come on, no lectures. Not now, okay? Come on, Curtis. Look, man, I know what I'm doing. I am razor fucking sharp. I am on top of it, man. I am on top of it. I was gonna ask you for a cigarette. me right about now? No, not this time. Yeah? Anything good in my medicine cabinet? What is it? What's going on? Why have you not asked me what it is I'm after? What do you mean? It seems like a natural question to me. I mean, I would want to know. Well, questions can be very dangerous in this line of work. You're the first criminal I've ever met that doesn't care about the fruits of his labor. Doesn't want to increase his share. Yeah? Well, I'm not greedy. I don't think I've ever met any criminal like you. Yeah, the only thing more dangerous than your questions are my answers. And I haven't asked you what we're going after. Because I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You know, for me, it's never been about this job.
I got it. Go. Why don't we both go? Get the fuck out of Dodge. Cut loose all this shit. What do you say? Where would we go? I don't know. Um. Um. Definitely somewhere hot. So you wouldn't have to wear any clothes. <laughs> Indonesia. Too unstable. Hey, the Riviera. Mm. French or Italian? There's two? <laughs> Flip a coin. It's too expensive. You know, there's always going to be some reason not to go, Sophie. You know, the big gig, you know, the easy job, the big score. The hand's been set into motion, Seth. Stop it, then. Aren't you tired of all this bullshit? I am. Sophie. Sophie. Come on. I know you're tired of it. I see it in your eyes. Can you? Yeah. You think you know me? I, I didn't say that. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I've done. I don't care. We all have pasts. Yeah, well, but not all of us have futures. This line of work, you do whatever it takes. You tell yourself it's business. But it's personal and you can never go back. Don't show up this afternoon, OK? Promise me that. So it's this afternoon? This afternoon? Where? Don't answer the phone. Just promise me you won't show up. That's the call. OK. Please, just do not show up this afternoon. Hey, just acting weird. Come on. Hello? A cavern. One hour. Come in the back. OK. Hey, Lucas. Pick me up some cigarettes, OK? Talking gangster. We won't wait for him. Hey, about fucking time. Sophie, your gear's by the door. Let's get a move. Where's my gear? Fucking coming or what? Let's do it. What the fuck are you doing? Now get out right there. Why is this blindfold off? Huh? I said, why is this blindfold off? Not now, man. <laughs> why the fuck is this asshole's blindfold off? Hey, sweet. That's a witness now. Don't fuck with me, okay? Don't fuck with you. Where's Lucas? That's a fucking witness! Where's Lucas? Downstairs. Okay, I'm going downstairs. Don't do anything. I'm coming back. I'll be waiting. Officers are dead, Jack. I got a renegade cop inside, and nobody, including you, could tell me what he's thinking. I know what he's thinking, Dan. He's a cop. For crying out loud, he's a cop like you and me. He's nothing like me. All right, all right, all right. Look, Dan, I know I'm asking you to choke down a shit sandwich here. For crying out loud, I help butter the bread. But trust me, my man is on the job. I stick my reputation on it. 
You're not staking your reputation, Jack. You're staking mine. Lieutenant Eddie, are you ready to go? Standing by, sir. Wait for my signal. Standing in position. Your boy's got five minutes, Jack. And not a second more. Well, haven't you done enough? Why don't you just let us go? You got this what you came for. This is almost over, Judy, please. Judy, shut up. I'm not just here for the money, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, you're really tough. Look, Judy, just stay calm, all right? Look, we're gonna be all right, I promise. Yeah, listen to Bank of Three boy. women blindfolded. Amateur. I'm trying to count, all right? Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? You're pathetic. Judy, please. No, he's an amateur. Just... He doesn't know what he's doing. We've been here forever. Don't, don't antagonize me, all right? Just... You're really tough. Just stay, really stay calm, all right? Yeah, you're a big man. You're a joke. Just Don't take the money and go. Look, leave, leave her alone, all right? Don't touch her! Judy! Okay. Oh, run, Judy, run! Stop, stop playing hard to get. Where are you going? Leave me alone! I think you should kiss her better. So was it worth it, huh? Was all this shit worth it? And then some. It's the euro, the designs for the hard currency. What? Counterfeiting? Mm -hmm. You're bullshitting me, right? You're bullshitting me. With the technology nowadays, you can't photocopy this kind of shit. Come on. That's true, but see, France hasn't dedicated any money to upgrading their printing processes. That means that all the member countries must adhere to the older technologies, easily forgeable technologies. They'll never get away with it. We already have. How will they know what to look for when they don't even know what's been stolen? Because I'm gonna tell them. Because I can't let you get away with it. <laughs> don't you think it's a little late to become a cop? No. No. There is no door, is there? There is no way out. I wouldn't know. First positions. Situation. Don't panic. Mm. Keep your head. You want all those around you are losing their heads. Okay? Relax, 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 relax. No, no. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Relax. It's okay. Be gentle with you. You are so beautiful. No, no. I'll do it rough. I don't give a fuck, baby. It's up to you. <laughs> Relax. It's your choice. What do you want? You want to get hurt? You know, they say that in time, hostages start to sympathize with the captain. Oh, yeah. Are you fucking yeah. crazy? <laughs> Sometimes they even fall in love. It's called the Patty Hearst Syndrome. No. It's called the Stockholm Syndrome, you sick fucking animal. You okay, Judy? So all of us, Lucas, Cisco, me, we're just the fucking patsies, right? We're meant to take the fall for this. I mean, the more things go wrong up there, the better. Just, just a bunch of dead bodies to take the rap, right? I mean, no one was supposed to make it out of here, right? Except maybe you. Let me guess. Oh, you're gonna pretend you were a hostage just hiding down here, scared the whole fucking time? What do you want from me? What do you want me to say? You want me to say I'm sorry? Yes, Seth, I used you just like you used me, but I gave you a choice. You make your own decisions, Seth. You're a big fucking boy. Now live with the consequences. Just back the fuck up. I'm sure you're cut out for this. 
Yeah, like you don't even know how to use that thing. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't even check to see if the safety was off. Richie! You underestimate me. I'm a cop. for the talent, don't you? Oh, God. Why would I kill somebody? So who's it gonna be? Oh, no, Mother no. Fucker. Who's it gonna be? Oh, my God. Try me. Oh, well, 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 look who grew a pair. Oh, God. Let it go, Cisco. Ah! You're under arrest, Cisco. You are under arrest. You're a cop. Oh, God. I usually got like a spidey sense about fucking pigs. Although, to my credit, I never did like you from the get go. <sighs> Back the fuck up! Michael! Look at me. When he drops the girl, you grab her and you take her out hey, of here. Hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you talking like you hold the cards? You got nothing, brother. Michael! You grab her and you take her out of here. <laughs> Judy, it's gonna be okay. Uh-uh. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> it's gonna be okay, Judy. Let her go. I don't take orders too well, least of all from fucking pigs! Trust him, it's gonna be okay. Hey, you know what they say, officer? You know what they say? The only good cops are dead cops? Huh? You know that? You ever heard that? Uh-huh. Like that one last night, brother. <sighs> I'll pop that motherfucker <sighs> from the hallway. What was the address? What was the address, sweetie? <laughs> 2236 Chancery Lane. Hey, maybe you're new here. Huh? <sighs> what are the chances?
it's over. I kill Cisco, and it's over. It's not too late. Oh, yes, it is, Sophie. Yeah, it's too late. No, it's not. Come on, we can put it all behind us. We were right. You were right. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Sophie, you were right. You play me like a chump. I can't let you do this. I know. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead and kill me. Go on. Go on, take your Euro shit. Go on. You want to go in to kill me? Do it. Do it! Easy. Just shut up! Not as easy as you think, is it? Come on, do it. Shut up! Drop your weapon now! Hey, I'm a cop! I'm a cop! Here! Stop it, dude! I'm done. I'm the cop! Do something. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on. I spent so much time trying to figure out who to trust. In the end, the only person I couldn't trust was. Excuse me, officer, that's my briefcase. Thank you. Detective, are you aware that the entire city is hailing you as a hero after the dramatic events of tonight? What? Well, I don't know. No. What did he say? The bank's manager credits you with saving the lives of everyone inside. He says, and I quote, without the decisive actions of undercover officer Seth George, I would not be alive to relay this story. I owe everything from this point on to that man. That's quite high praise, wouldn't you agree, detective? Hey, officer. Send you a postcard. Detective? So where do you want to go? Uh, let's start anywhere in Europe. Did you know the Roman Colosseum was built 72 AD? Mm-hmm. Used to say, while stands the Colosseum, Rome stands. When falls the Colosseum, Rome falls. When Rome falls, the world. I'd like to see it all. Any comments for our viewers, Detective? The greatest thing about the street is how simple things are. <laughs> no bull. Oh, wow. Simple. <laughs> I'll be a son of a bitch. You want something, you take it. Wow. Out there, <laughs> there's good guys and bad guys. End of story.
him down the freeway in a car with a Gino. Blue as the sky, nowhere to hide, hot on a car, 